Hello everybody and welcome back to Revita 1.0. We are jumping in again with the orbit gun, with the planet head, and we got the thruster and the manuscript, I think it's called something like that, or faith or something. Uh, and we're jumping in for the first time to Shard 5. Shard 5 is going to add... 30% chance for boss rooms to have trickier layouts and, ooh, an actual positive. Relic rarity up, increased relic rarity at mother statues, improving overall relic quality. That's very interesting. I didn't expect that. Max soul up, uh, plus loot. We got speed, range, shot speed and loot, uh, fire rate, and while not holding, have immensely increased range. I don't even know... Okay, so let's go with that. And yeah, let's go with fire rate as well. well. We'll take those. We'll confirm and start our run. And we'll jump on in with the orbit gun here. I'm interested to see how this goes. Uh, destroy one relic. A sil We're going to have to go for silhouette. We can't have destroying relic this early. But look at our planet head. This is so cool. How have you guys been enjoying Revita recently? You guys been playing it much yourselves? How, um, has anyone out there got it you guys managing to work your way through the bosses and stuff and get up the uh i fire it's really low get up the ranks okay so wait i think firing once fires three shots here it's gonna be really hard to do these statues then isn't it really hard right one two three i think this one's eight right let me check let me check this one's nine Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that works. The other one's gonna be a little harder. So this one, this is a, a triple shot weapon. Interesting. I love the orbit moon ring item. I think that's why it's been turned into this. Is this under the statue here? And then it's eight, isn't it? Four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. It's not too hard. It's not great, but it's not too hard. Also, let's check what our items do. Um, I'm not sure. Do does do do our shots last? Yeah, our shots last a lot longer if we tap fire them. Um, highly increased shot speed, damage, and bullet size for decreased rate of fire. Ah, that's why. Okay, and then we've got chance to not lose HP at mother statues. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we've done nine. We've done eight. Yeah, this range thing isn't super useful, but we have it now. The damage we have is very nice. Oh, dude, that, 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 that jammed one just wrecked me. Beautiful. Good, good. We got a chance to not lose HP at Mother Statues, and rarity has gone up. Max HP and fire rate. I think max HP and fire rate is a must take here. Beautiful. Okay, here's our next statue. This one's... Is this one's three or five? Oh, we found a secret room as well there. Nice. Okay, let me just quickly check. It's three. Okay, three's easy. There you go, three. Got ice cream there. I don't know, five's gonna be kinda hard. We got an extra key here, lovely. We do have a hive as well, we'll grab that. Good, good. Oh god, those enemies are scary. We got a fair shop as well. But yeah, I'm still absolutely loving this game. I can't believe how much Ben has added since the updates. Ooh, Twin Soul, Max HP up, Armor. Let's take Twin Soul and the Armor. Max HP up is good, but I don't think it's quite what we need right now. Okay, here's our last statue. This one's five, so we've got to be kind of careful when we hit this one. Okay. One, two, three. One, two. Good, good. We did it. Okay, that's all of them hit. Now we just got to try and flawless the boss. What is this? Um, stomp your enemies plus HP. I don't know. I've not really used this one before. Okay. Seems decent. Probably not very really good for bosses though, but that's kind of fine. 
Okay, these enemies, I'm just going to kind of wait for them to come to me. Right, we definitely need more fire rate, though. Fire rate is big on my list right now. Need to heal as well, actually. God, I love my planet head. It's so fitting for this item as well. For this gun, sorry. But yeah, there's an item called Moon Ring that, that basically adds this bullet effect to every uh, every weapon. That just all, all your bullets orbit you. But now that it's been made into a gun, people must have liked it so much. Ben was just like, do you know what? It's an item now. Okay, good. More enemies. The jammed ones are a bit scary. There's another jammed one. Okay, my stomp was actually super effective there. Not Pokemon super effective, but like, <laughs> just very useful. Yeah, it's like my third recording of the morning here. I'm just binging this game so hard. Beautiful. So if I destroy you and then go... Yeah, the slam's actually super good. Alright, we'll take our chest here. Oh, the other room was a mini chest. I probably should come for the mini chest. Actually, this is a curse chest. That's fine. And is that marbles, I think? Small chance to lose hit bit to HP. Mimics is annoying, but I'll take it. That is marbles. Marbles is... I upgraded this all the way the other time. It was pretty good. Right, let's try and flawless this bad boy. I honestly don't know if we can. Like, I, I'm just... I'm not... I'm basically trying to not promise anything, because... Like, for one, we're using orbit shots, which I'm just not very familiar with right now. But also, the range on them, like, is of course limited. Even with our unlimited range thing that we got going on here, it's still kind of limited. And honestly, I think it's going to be kind of somewhat slow going. And also, just a bit dangerous because we have to get so damn close. Like, that was not a good move on my behalf there. We're doing okay. Okay, we, we just about got him there. We can't, unfortunately, get him yet. There we go. Okay, we got the flawless. Right, now we can see if this actually, the statue thing actually works. We tried it last episode, but we didn't get the flawless. I reckon that was why it didn't work. I might be wrong. We'll find out. We've got a lot of HP, though, here. We're sitting pretty. Okay, make sure we get that done. And let's see. Hey, there you go, look. A fancy crown. It breaks upon taking two hits. That scares me very deeply. I don't know where I need to take this to. Um, I'm not sure. I've heard it might be the fourth floor, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, the, the trigger finger thing is not all that useful. Um, I do kind of like having it though. Right, what, what can we what can we actually upgrade here? What, what's going to be best for us? So we can upgrade propulsion to get extra 5% shot speed and damage. Don't really care about that. 30% chance, extra 5% fire rate, 15% chance. I think I'm going to actually go for uh, marbles here. Just fully upgrade marbles. I think marbles is just really good. Uh, we are into the B floor now, but we can't take damage, <laughs> which scares me a lot, because I take a lot of damage on this floor normally. Yeah. I'm not particularly confident I can do this, I'll be honest. But I will try my best. We've also got some... Ah, oh, hello. Okay. Healing's going well. Ooh, ooh, look. The ice door opened. Hello. Dreaming alone in their crystalline home, memories lost might once again flower. To face the unknown, come healthy and alone. Find what's hidden in the tower. Come healthy and alone. Hmm. So healthy obviously must mean full HP. But alone? I am alone. 
Hmm. But I'm not able to interact with this or anything. Okay, so that's that's a, a puzzle for another time. I, I w would guess that's maybe not the only use of the crown. It might end up being, but... I don't know. I'm dubious of that fact. I feel like that's the biggest way I'm going to end up getting hit here is by, like, being in the wrong place at the wrong time when things spawn. And an armor piece. I wonder if armor blocks it from being hit. I wonder if it's only health hits. Oh, shit, wait. If it does... If, it, if armor hits don't count to block it, then it's going to be real. Oh, this is tough. It's going to be really tough because, um... I'm unfortunately going to have to flawless the boss, which I'm honestly not very good at. No, I got hit. Okay, it pro this is probably doomed from now on then. Honestly, these enemies are always kind of the bane of my existence. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not confident I can go the entire rest of this floor without getting hit. And honestly, I don't. Maybe... Oh. Fuck's sake. Mimic broke it. Okay, we at least know how to get that crown now. I still don't really know what to do with it. Because... Like, it surely can't be carrying that to the fourth floor. That'd be nuts. I reckon it's something on this floor, based on the fact that we opened up that ice door, unless that is the only thing it does. It might be the only thing that it does. Certainly a potential. But it's going to take me a long time, I think, to actually manage to flawless this, pretty much flawless this entire floor. Oh, it was not quite flawless, but we're only getting hit once. I mean, I got hit again here already, look, so... It's gonna be a bit rough, I think. It's going to be a bit rough. But we'll push forward on this run. This run's actually pretty decent. We might be able to beat, um... Thingy 5. Shard 5, if we're lucky. I love Orbit Bullets, but I am seriously struggling with using them effectively. There's our marbles doing their thing. Okay, we'll take a look around. Ooh, we got a, our first look at this NPC here. Yeah, I, was, I knew I was going to get hit. This, this is what I mean, though. Like, I've been hit two times on just this room. Three times on just this room. I reckon completing... The full floor only getting hit twice is going to take me quite some time. I might have to do it with some specific weapon recent setups, to be honest. Hey, fella. Freedom, such an underappreciated state of being until someone takes it from you. Perhaps there are some shortcuts hidden in my map. Adds enemy rooms and extra special rooms for the next area. Hell yes. I always take that. We found our secret room here. Nice. you as well. Thank you. And we dash through here, get ourselves a mini chest. I don't know if these can be mimics yet. Wait, what? <laughs> it got a... There's a chest in my chest. <laughs> I've not seen that in this game before. That's cool. There's a chest in my chest. Oh, I watched Toy Story 2 recently and I'm just like, my god, that film's so good. Like, even as an adult, I'm... St still in love with it. And I don't even think, like, how, so now sometimes you watch films like that and you're like, oh my god, it's amazing. Ma it, mainly it's just nostalgia carrying your enjoyment of the film. I genuinely don't think it was. I think it is genuinely just a very, very good film. Another curse chest. We're getting a lot of curse chests here. I don't mind because I actually do kind of like curse in this game. Wait, how is this going to work? Okay, it, it isn't. It just isn't. So, we, we want to be removing that. Another curse chest. My lord. Pacifier. So, unfortunately, yet another boss that we can't use our stomp attack on, like, at all. I think Marble will do very well against this boss, though. Like, Marble knocks around shots, so... Damn it. We need to jump to actually hit him here, which just increases my risk a lot.
We just stand so close. This is so risky. I'm probably not going to get a flawless on this guy. So little time to react when I'm this close to him. Okay, this should be the phase in which Marble goes off. God damn it. I knew I wasn't going to get a flawless here. I have to stand way too close to him to hit him. Orbit bullets are just... The range is just so bad. Oh, I'm getting hit so much now. Dude, leave me alone. A guy hit me like five times. This is... So, if I'm trying to do this challenge, you, I pretty much cannot do it with Orbit Gun. It just doesn't work. So, we could check this. I've never actually read this before. The spirit of the long-lost royalty dwells here. Okay. Um, Twin souls of... What's, what do we need to actually... Okay, so we can get rid of that, can't we? And that gives us damage, okay. Hmm. Maybe we offer the crown to that guy. It did say Spirit of the Long Lost Royalty, so... That makes sense, right? I don't know what that would achieve. That has to be it, though. Uh, increase your rate of fire and your bullets have a chance to inflict charm. Um, chance to shoot in four directions. Hell yes. Honestly, I'll take that too. Ah, sticky keys. No. Go away. I don't have sticky keys. Oh, we are the absolute planet. We've got stars circling us. This is so cool. And now we can fear and charm on hit. I can't believe this. We got orbiting stars. I mean, I know that stars don't orbit around planets. That's stupid. But you know what I mean. I mean, maybe. If the planet's big enough. I don't, I don't think there's any known occurrence of that happening though, right? <laughs> I don't know. It depends what classes is a star. But normally stars are much, much bigger and have higher gravitational pull than planets, right? I'm not a scientist. I don't really know. Okay, we got our boss in this area. Oh, dude, this... Okay, I thought it was going to do laser beams in every direction then. I was scared. Oh, my God, I'm taking some bad damage. Some bad, bad damage. Fire rate and speed... Yeah, definitely fire rate and speed here. Is that not a synergy? Oh no, we don't have the doll. We, we, we have one doll this one, but not, not, the, not the right dolls. I most certainly need to heal here, otherwise I'm going to lose a lot of soul in this room. Okay, the stomp gives us some iframes. Which is not always going to be useful, but I can make some use out of it. That hit me? Okay. You do you, I guess. You're silhouetted like I don't know exactly what you are. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do. Yeah, I wish, I wish we had something better than these stomping boots. But unfortunately, I do not. But yeah, today's going to be a crazy day for me. I've got a friend coming over this weekend. And I need to prepare videos for the weekend. So essentially, I'm just going to be like recording non-stop. And I've got to do my day job as well. Don't want that. Not for a curse. I realize I just spent a key. Really? Gotcha. Really like to get my health up a little bit, but I'm having a really hard time. Really hard time. Sorry, I tabbed out there by accident. And you are back again. Hello. Oh, Parasite. I think that's Parasite that triggered that. God damn, do you know what we need right now? We need staple up the piercing. It'd be so good with the setup. Okay, there you go. We're actually getting some more HP now. 
I need to try and use my stomp a little more effectively. Because as you saw there, it gave me a ton of iframes on that dude. Extra damage. And we get another heart, which means taking this chest is pretty plausible. Please let me a chaos chest. The normal chest, good. Ooh, legendary. Resurrects you on death. Awesome. So let's see weapons charge slower. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. We have a resurrection. Interesting. We found our secret room there. I don't know if you saw that. Just that wall to the right there. To the left even. Here it is. I didn't even mean to enter there. I went in by accident. Okay, mirror room. I, I still don't know if mirror room is from, from before 1.0 or not, but I, I kind of feel like it's got something to do with the secrets that I'm trying to uncover right now. At least I've found my fa my, my way to f the first part of the, uh, the puzzle. Or at least one of the puzzles. I'm sure there's many. Don't want to go water well. We don't have enough armor right now. I, I do want to try and go to that floor a little more often, but I don't really have the armor to support going there right now. Damn it. The ice in this bloody area. You see how small of a patch I slipped on as well? It's like the tiniest little patch and I still slipped on it. We could remove the curse here, but honestly, I'm pretty okay with the, the amount of curses I have right now on the curses that I do have. Like, we're not getting all jammed enemies, but we're getting a few a room. But jammed enemies give more souls, so I'm pretty happy to have them, actually. The charm and fear we're applying, like, all the time here is pretty great. Beautiful. Yeah, look how, many, look how much soul we're getting per room here. It's pretty good. Got our shop here as well. Ah, just this this is such a cool build we got going on right now. Beautiful. Okay, so I think shop is definitely worthwhile here. I know we've only got one key. Good thing is the shop always sells a key if you don't have any, so there will be a key for sale in here guaranteed. Hmm. A Joker card we saw before was incredibly good. And um, we'll grab a key as well. I don't think Dumbbell will do anything for us here. Uh, we got Holy. Increased chance for blessed relics to appear. Nice. Um, well, one off Celestial, one off Heartfelt, one off Witch, one off Locksmith. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I don't know if Dumbbell would do anything for us, I'll be honest. This boss should be a little more plausible to use our Stomp on, but I honestly don't really feel like it's a good idea, to be honest. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Boss rooms have trickier layouts. Fair enough. <laughs> I didn't know what that meant. Now I do. There's literal spikes in the corner of the room if you don't see those there. I got hit by them. That's fair. I, I, I was obviously expecting the harder layouts. I was not expecting them to be quite literally just like traps in the room. I thought it would be like slightly different room design philosophies and like the size of the room, the shape of the room, where the boss spawns. But... I think it just means extra traps. I did lose a lot of HP there, unfortunately. The good thing about losing a lot of HP, though, it means that I have more of a reason to trade away HP. Trade away heart containers, I should say. C can I upgrade my legendary to give me another resurrect? That'd be kind of funny. Get rid of that. I don't really care about that. And what do you have to offer for me, sir? Yeah, unfortunately not. I didn't think so. Get 5% fire rate and speed. 5% fire rate. Ooh, I think we should go for that. And then another one on that. There you go. Chance to fire extra shots. With orbit, they're always going to hit. So it's just extra shots we're firing. I think our health is a little low for where we are, but I'm hoping for some armor here. Oh yeah, we have a lot more shots going out now. A lot, lot more. I'm hoping Joker card can help us get a few more synergies as well. Key is whatever. I need to unlock Recycle at some point as well here. Yeah, I think we should be able to get a good few hearts here. We're getting souls quite rapidly. This is why I like having a lot of curse. Beautiful. 
and a challenge room as well. That's a guaranteed uh, heart here as long as it's not don't get hit. Defeat all enemies. Okay, defeat all enemies is easy. I, I still wish we had a uh, piercing with this, but honestly, even without piercing, this is doing really well. Especially now we're firing so many extra shots. Our damage is just so good as well. One more enemy. Oh, you got me, you bastard. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, doesn't matter. We got it anyways. We got a half heart for completing that room. We're on 70% damage as well. Familiar that spawns extra pickups every few rooms. Your bullets have a chance to inflict bleed. Yeah, the more soul you have, more damage you deal. Okay, all kind of meh. I'd rather take a chaos chest at this point. Beautiful. Yes, I will rock this. I've never really won on this lady, so I don't. You know, I don't know what what you actually can win. Yeah, I don't know what you actually can win, but we'll see. I'm guessing you can win just some pickups or a relic, maybe. See, I never win this. It's a one in three that you get nothing, and I always get the one in three. I just trade a heart to be disappointed. It's sad. Okay, unfortunately, Key's not really what we're looking for. I really wanted armor there. Don't have anything that's influence our in influencing our drops right now, though, so I can't really complain too much. I was going to try and heal up a little bit here, but instead I've just got myself hit a bunch. Hey, a rare, nice one. And we got Vault Orb, which might be a synergy? No. But yet another Orbit. <laughs> Damn it, I jumped right into that guy. Still don't know what these light beams mean. They've got to mean something, right? Got to be like something I got to place there or something. And you are dead as well, Candle Boy. Prison key, a quality. Hmm. I wonder if that's something to do with uh, item rarity. This should be a full heal room. Oh, that skeleton got back up right as I walked over the top of him. A full heal room indeed, but I still got hit a bunch. Okay, luckily, the game rewards me for that and gives me some HP back. Shop, what do you have for me? Health is not great. I'm hoping for some armor here. Bullets split into smaller bullets on impact. I'll take that. And there's the armor that I wanted. I don't know how well this will end up doing. Didn't mean to destroy that, but it is gone. <laughs> it gave us some soul. Can't complain too much. Okay, so Depression, I'm a little better at him. I'm still not confident I can flawless him. But I'm a little better at him now. Especially difficult when obviously our range is pretty limited right now. Having to do some kind of weird shenanigans in order to hit him properly. Damn it. No way I didn't get hit there. What the hell? That is a super clutch flawless. My goodness. And we got a bunch of damage out of this too. Awesome. More and more pickups each time. It's good. All right, what we got here? I don't know if I want to trade any HP away right now. I'm, I don't know, I'm tempted. Let's see, is there any items that we're just not using? Pacifier. Honestly, pacifier is kind of whatever. Fear's nice, but I'm not, I'm not tied to it. I think damaged ammo is probably better for us here. Do you know what? Even though it's risky, I'm going doubles on it. On hit, um, bullet splitting seems really, really good. 
We're at the clock tower now. Still no new celestial weapon, unfortunately. Oh yeah, our damage has gone up a lot. Yeah, this is proving to be very pertinent. With the amount of shots we're firing, oh my lord. That's upped our damage by a ton. It's kind of hard to see on depression. We killed him quickly, but it's hard to know like how effective the actual item was or how strong we were as a base. Oh god damn, an enemy spawned on me there. I was not paying attention. Secret room there, lovely. Okay, we only lost a bit of armor hit there, that's fine. Armor piece, yes. The predictor. Increase your damage, but lower your accuracy. I'll go for that. Accuracy doesn't matter to us, I don't think. We are going to have a pretty hard time with the boss because we're going to have to get pretty close. We're going to kill him relatively quickly. Oh, that bloody... The turrets get me every time. Yeah, we're going to have to get pretty close to him, which we've seen before has been problematic. Do I want to go into a chest here? Okay. Easy kills from those guys. Full soul as well and more damage. I'll at least check it out. I've got a key for it. If it's a rare, I'll take it. Yeah, otherwise I'm just going to take the soul. And it was a mimic anyways. Kind of tough, but we got him. No item, unfortunately, but we got the soul. Nice, okay. Another heal. That's actually pretty beneficial, that was. Hey, that guy was charmed for just the right amount of time there. I was hoping for a key there for the shop or something, but, uh, well, it's fine. I'll get by without one, I guess. With the silhouettes, it's hard to know if they're char uh, charmed, uh, jammed or not, but I think that's okay. For the most part, because they just have different patterns, we treat them pretty much the same. Oh, we are getting crazy amount of heals here. We should be fine for the boss now, I think. One more armor piece would really solidify my, my feelings about that, though. Especially if we can no-hit this room, which I'm not going to say is a guarantee. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's a guarantee because it didn't happen. Oh, what? Oh, you fired a bomb at me. Okay, not only did I not no-hit it, but I lost my bloody thingy. Oh, come on, please, please, please. No! We could have got an extra heart. Okay, anyways, let's give this a go. I'm not super confident. I think we can kill him pretty fast, but not getting hit is a different story. Our range is super, super low, so we're just at the whim of wherever he stands, really. Just remember a lot of these attacks we kind of need to just stand back. Like this one especially, I always need to stand back from. Remember Marble's going to help us out from time to time as well here, so... Don't fret too much on that. It's all about, like, getting risky with the contact damage as well here. I always feel like I'm going to accidentally run right into him. Marbles, you just saved my life. Okay, I think we're okay. We got plenty of HP, and that'll be Shard 5 complete. I don't even know what Shard 5, uh, Shard 6 holds. What, what, anything after Shard 5 holds, you bastard. I think, we don't obviously need to do it for the whole fight, but I think we can damage tank reasonably safely here. Gotta stop doing this attack, boy. And this one, dude. I can't get close to you when you do this one, dude. Okay, this is the attack we want. Okay. Yeah, we're good, we're good. We can just damage tank him now. Beautiful. There you go. Another win. We're doing really well. I've got on a lot better at this game than I thought it would be. I thought this would be uh, a long process to get to this level, but I'm doing well. 
I think the game did get a bit easier, to be fair, as well. And I've just been understanding it a lot more as we go on here. I've been watching people play it and playing it a lot of my first free time as well before 1.0 came out. We've got another nerd. We're getting one, like, every kill at this point. Adrift with no pain to propel me to its peak, I find myself wandering from predetermined path, not just among the rampant uh, above the above but also into the dusty chasm secretly tucked away below when i stumble upon a hidden laboratory i begin to wonder if the answers i've been chasing have been down there all along all along i wonder if one of the new floors or one of the secrets that we're looking for is this hidden laboratory floor wouldn't be surprised if there's new floors we obliterate once more Let's go back. Right, so let's first of all go in here. See what's what with the flower man. Blueprint, custom shards, and double chest. I don't know what custom shards are. Custom shards uh, change up the difficulty to truly fit your player style. Interesting. Hmm, where's the... Okay, double chest. Costs two keys to, um, to open, but contains a good amount of rewards. Let's just go for the standard key chest first. I'll get to that. But well, having all these new chests is going to be really cool. I wonder how many more there is to unlock. Right, let's quickly go in here. Hmm... Okay, so I was meant to unlock something for beating Shard 5 with a weapon. That doesn't seem to have been the case anymore. Okay, I don't I don't know what that is. We'll go with shotgun for the next run. I love shotgun. Um, 100 for 6 puts us at another 8, but then we'll only have 36. Do you know what? I'm actually happy with that. 36 is enough to get one item. I know that I'd rather have two here, but we'll grab one item from Mr. Man over here. For the next run. Things are starting to cost a pretty penny for this guy. But we've got some things we can at least afford here. Like, I'll just take the B-bomb. Why not? Uh, and then we'll go back through here. And I'm going to unlock the glass chest as well. There you go. Glass chest unlocked. Wait, did I just deactivate it by accident there? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. There you go. Turn it on. Right, I think there's some other people we can speak to in here as well that I haven't really considered. So let's just go quickly look around. Like this dude. Hello, sir. Yeah, you can pick any of the music that you want. It's pretty, a pretty cool idea. Obviously, we don't need to do that. I tend to just like the music as is. But you can customize it a little bit. I also want to check out here, see if there's any NPCs that have moved in over here. Apparently, this is like a fishing mini game you can do eventually. I don't know if I need to unlock an NPC for that or whatnot. I'm really not sure. But anyways, we will leave this episode here, I think. I think we've made good progress and we can check out the next shard. Okay, wait. We haven't unlocked the next shard. We're still on shard five. Interesting. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.